Hi guys, this is Ranger Rob and this is the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. And today I was doing some homework about Central Oregon and where we live. And it's getting to a point where we're starting to get a little more serious about uh, getting ready to grow. And I'm in what we call our sunroom or our green room we call it. Um, and this is where we're going to start our seeds. So I did order down here uh, grow lights and we'll be putting those up in here. And these are shelves. <laughs> and uh, uh, I found out, are you sitting down, that our for, uh, last freeze date is around, well, some say June 1st or June 19th. Some have said even as far as July 1st. It's like, are you kidding me? So uh, <coughs> I knew it was late. <coughs> Sorry. I didn't think it was that late. Jeez. So anyway, uh, we're going to start building up this room and getting our shelving done. Making sure we got our lights working and electrical the way we want it. And then very soon we're going to do starting some uh, cold weather plants. I actually got some broccoli started here. <laughs> but uh, uh, that was something we're actually we started in late fall. And... Uh, uh, they need to be transplanted. But anyway, <laughs> so our battle plan is turning out to be a good one, is we have the green room, the sun room, to start our seeds. And it doesn't get very cold in here because um, the door goes right into our house and our pellet stove is right around the corner. So it's a good temperature in here for growing, uh, especially starting seeds. But... Uh, our battle plan goes much farther than that. Okay, well, that's just the beginning of our story. So, uh, we've got some uh, serious projects we got to get done uh, if we want to get started earlier than that uh, June 19th date or June 1st uh, is this, our, our garden. So, <coughs> Of course, it doesn't look like much now, but we are bringing 10 yards of uh, compost more. We had five put in already, and sorry about the wind. This growing area is going to be for stuff that it can handle a little bit more shade. And then we got another 25 by 25, which has been uh, rototilled and amended, but it'll be amended again. And not only that, we got a fence this whole thing to keep our dogs out of it and uh so that's going to be our main growing area and it'll be all fenced off and the watering system will be applied and uh i think we made a good choice by building the greenhouse now uh granted we need to get this thing done we're not that far away we're just getting a the zigzag wiggle wire zigzag wiggle wire uh, tracks put in above here and uh, uh, probably in a matter of a few weeks we'll have the plastic installed we have everything we need to do that then inside we'll be uh, building our shelves and some above ground planters and bringing a lot of dirt in <laughs> and soil one for amending and two for filling up our above ground uh, gardens. And uh, don't forget, I think I've also mentioned to you, along our fence line over here, we're going to put a series of barrels with a watering system to grow strawberries, only strawberries, uh, with one exception of one area we're going to do raspberries. So, uh, uh, yeah. I'm glad we've been doing what we've been doing. I did not imagine our last freeze date to be in June. And so, you know, coming from Phoenix, uh, we had two grow periods. We had the spring, uh, early winter, and then fall to winter. And uh, those are great. Here, I can't mess up. The other thing I gotta do is because we can get frost past June 1st, 
I've got to cover my crops to protect them in case we get those unexpected freezes. So, uh, look at his dog. What are you doing? Is that your chicken friend? Chicken friend! <laughs> what a goofy dog. What are you doing? Are those chickens teasing you? They like you. Anyway, sorry, squirreled on you there. So that's the plan, I believe. This is going to be our savior. It'll be interesting uh, in the May and June time what kind of temperatures we can keep in here. Yes, we do have good ventilation for the hotter weather. Um, and then getting all these fences done around here and getting this our soil you definitely have to amend our soil and luckily you know we've been working hard on the compost bins back here and of course we got our chickens to help out and uh, we've been composting like crazy back here so hopefully this will be ready for the summer guess where all of our eggs go <laughs> so yeah um, but that was a shocker I'd be curious uh, when your last freeze date is in your area. Sorry about the wind. Uh, in Central Oregon here, it's not unusual to have a lot of windy days. So we either don't film or we just bear with it and hope our listeners are uh, understanding. But yeah, we have a watering system that was put in here before. And we'll be uh, extending that into the garden area over here, the new part. And this was an old project of Sherry's father, sorry about the wind again, where I, he was trying to build planters here. This was years ago. and never finished it. And yes, the starlings got to move. <laughs> but, uh, darn this wind. So anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you. I'd love to hear your last freeze dates in your region and uh, I know we're gonna have to do some new techniques we've never done before like using a fabric cloth over our, our plants to help protect them from those unexpected freezes in June and uh, luckily I have a lot of spare wood that got left over from doing the house which looks really pretty that we're gonna use for uh, our planter boxes because I mentioned in another video I, I used to use 2x12s my gosh uh, I told you the other day they were $25 for a 10 footer now they're 30 so it's like I am not using 2x6s or uh, 2x12s um, I just need too many and it will cost a fortune and uh, I've got all that plywood I'm gonna make my boxes out of those. I know I'll probably have to change them out after five years, but it's just how it is, I guess. But it's a lot of money for two by twelves. So uh, back to the green room here. Uh, I consider ourselves very fortunate if we can get this room uh, working the way we want to. Utilize this as our seedlings utilize the greenhouse for taking the seedlings to teenagehood and then eventually getting them adapted to go outside to the new big garden. So there, that's our plan and we're sticking to it. Love to hear your ideas. Uh, like I said, share, share, share with us your region and the things you're up against from frost states and the battles. Um, I don't think we'll have as many bug problems as some regions do, but we're still going to be careful. So uh, I thought I'd just share that with you. I thought it was kind of an interesting subject, and uh, it was definitely a shocker. So guys, I want to thank you very much for watching. Uh, please take the time to like and subscribe and share our videos all over. Please hit the like button, share our videos. You really help us out. We really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe on YouTube. So guys, be safe. Till next time. Bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.